Determined to revolt against the government's labour reforms, in Paris protests occurred for the eighth time since the plans were announced. Police detained nine people as scuffles broke out on a march from Bastille through the east of the capital. We are going to hold the government hostage. That's it. We don't have a choice. We're making things simpler when faced with the government's attitude. The only response one can give is through the street, because they've left us no choice. Across the country, 153,000 people are believed to have protested, according to authorities, the rise from last week. The left-leaning CGT union is at the heart of the rallies, alongside six others, such as Force Ouvrier and UNEF. With transport severely affected, France could be paralysed during the Euro 2016 football championships, which begin in two weeks' time. Manuel Valls will see a huge, huge problem during the Euros. Things aren't looking great. For someone who deals with this sort of thing, without metros, trains and any oil, it's going to be very complicated. The protests weren't just confined to the capital. There were demonstrations in most major cities, including Marseille, Montpellier, Strasbourg and Rennes. Prime Minister Manuel Valls says the Labour reforms could be modified, but insisted that the heart of the bill would remain. Protesters remain unconvinced. The changes won't make any difference because they want to continue to impose things that are no good for us. He's trying to change the rules today, but it's too late. A ninth day of strike action is expected to be on June 14th with a national demonstration planned in Paris.